Tataas po ang singil sa kuryente na may dagdag singil sa kuryente. Ang, ang presyo ng kuryente, magmamahal din. Inalamahaw ng ilang grupo ang nakaampang taas singil ng kuryente. Ma'am, sumobra ka ng ilaw at ilaw. Pagpala ng ilaw, ma'am, ang ilaw mo. Isa sa mga dahilan kung bakit hindi itinuloy ang operasyon sa paggamit ng Bataan Nuclear Power Plant sa mga pinag-aaralang solusyon ng Department of Energy. Uh, we want to also talk about the overall plan of this administration and the next administration in terms of enhancing our energy self-sufficiency and energy security. At kasama po dyan yung uh, conversations or discussions about uh, whether we should uh, resuscitate or bring back into operation yung BNPP, yung Bataan Nuclear Power Plant, or in general, uh, transition into adopting nuclear energy and renewable energy in, ter in terms of enhancing our energy security. Makasama po natin sila Yusek Gerardo Ergiza Jr. mula sa si Department of Energy at si Kevin Yu ng Greenfields Philippines para pag-usapan ang energy security situation ng Pilipinas. Ang isang malaki issue dyan is yung suggestion or mungkahi na pwede tayo siguro bumalik dun sa mga palano natin before na mas gumamit tayo ng nuclear energy as an alternative source for generating electricity. Kasi ang taas din yung presyo ng electricity sa Pilipinas. I think, uh, you said, could you give us kindly kind of an overview of what is our energy uh, security landscape? Ano pong direction? Uh, what is happening to us right now is uh, are the same things that we experienced in the 1970s. When nuclear was first proposed, uh, there was an oil embargo. And uh, ang problema doon, it's not only the cost of oil, it uh, is also about the supply. At that time, our leaders realized that we are so dependent on oil. Kasi doon, sabi nga, hindi lang cost, ah, supply. So nagkaroon talaga ng rationing. Diba? Ng, uh, because we were, ang energy... Uh, dependence natin sa oil noon about 50% pati power plants natin then okay. so pinatayo nila ang BNPP But basically kasi why ang why is nuclear a, a different kind of source of energy ang nuclear kasi is base load okay when we say base load 24/7 kahit na natutulog ka tumatakbo yan mm -hmm. at yun yung naging turning point para uh, pumasok at tumingin no, sa iba't ibang sources naman ng energy. So, from us, very idealistic na papasok uh, right. kung puli makarecho to sa renewable energy. But of course, that's not the case. Coal left a void no, for other players to come in. That's mm -hmm. why pumasok, pumapasok na iba't ibang sources. And yung nuclear, so pumapasok sila, rebranding themselves as right. a clear source of energy compared to coal. Now, we also know there were many major accidents. Of course, the worst one was in Chernobyl in Ukraine, and many would say that that contributed eventually to the collapse of the Soviet Union. Balikan natin in nuclear energy. But is nuclear energy clean and safe to begin with? The reason why they are uh, claiming no, na mas uh, malinis siya and it, it's a climate solution because they compare it, no, again, to the worst source of uh, energy, uh, which is coal. No? Talagang... Coal is king in terms of ano, no? uh, dirt and danger. So if, if you compare it to that, talagang mababa, uh, may mababa when it comes to uh, mm -hmm. CO2. So, the real main issue here is right. yung safety. No? Safety in terms of using it. And in the last four to five years, when we were finalizing this nuclear energy program, our people in the Department of Energy uh, were mostly mga technical people natin in the IAEA making the studies no uh alam tong ato na to it, it includes safety safeguard security yan tatlo na yan the three s talagang pinag-aralan niya no so we reviewed everything and um, with the IAEA and we have that bible already the other major issue raised with the nuclear energy is also in waste disposal we're talking about radioactive waste we just have to bury it somewhere but wala tayong specific technology at a mass scale to deal with this issue. Yung science of uh, nuclear has almost been perfected and there are safe practices. Kasi pinag-aralan naman yan. Kasi na meron kaming pinuntahan dyan, yung sa Korea, ang mga nuclear radioactive materials nila. Deep under the ground, uh, 300 to 400 meters down. 
tapos uh, concrete talagang na uh, may mga concrete na barriers tapos yung mga cylinders nilalagay nila so wala naman tayong naging problema so far I... no one wants to uh, have a bunker in their backyard yeah. na puro mga waste no ibabaon sa lupa uh, mm-hmm. kilometers deep no tapos yung layers of uh, cement steel and uh, other materials mm-hmm. Are, are the direction in terms of uh, nuclear waste management, but it is still there. May mga ilang cases no sa uh, Marshall Islands where na nagkakaroon na ng crack, no? Yung, right. So may leakage. May may konting leakage na, and they're expecting na talagang pwedeng bumigay siya in the next, uh, sorry, in this coming decade. So these are some of the problems na uh, harapin natin if we uh, entertain yung idea na nuclear, no? Uh, but let me also raise concerns that have been discussed with respect to the nuclear energy. That the issue of the price often unlucky on cost overruns. They say it takes 600 million, it ends up at two billion dollars, three billion dollars. We have seen this all around the world, all cases around the world. We can see massive overruns nangyare. Those issues, it's, it's too speculative to say. Uh, oops, they problem on investment. Una una. It, it's the investors that will decide are we going to invest. Diba? We're not telling that oh, mapapatay ng nuclear power hindi. We're just saying nandiyan yung framework so that the next generation when they want and they decide diba? let's have a nuclear power plant there's already this framework that they could start with. At eventually, ganun din ang mangyayari sa, uh, sa, sa nuclear power plant kung mag-operate siya dito. Yung capital cost nila na kalaki-laki na in-invest nila ay eventually kailangan nilang mabalik yun, no? So for for profit kasi ang ang energy generation dito. So that's why there's a high uh, chance na talagang uh, tumaas yung cost of electricity kung pumasok tayo sa nuclear energy. And if you compare it to renewable energy, no? Uh, it would be of course the same uh, scenario but yung investment will be uh, not as high, walang fuels, walang uh, price volatility due to uh, international market. But the problem is that on multiple occasions, mukhang may mga hiccups. So at points, there were points that Germany, I think, had to rely on coal to kind of fill in the gap. So that became a fodder, actually, for, for a lot of critics to say, see, yung Germany, hindi naman ganun ka, Germany nga na napaka-develop, ay hindi gumana, gumana yung kanilang energy vende, yung energy transformation strategy. Eh, paano naman yung mga third world country katulad ng Pilipinas? Kayang-kaya talaga siya. And considering that uh, uh, ang, ang Pilipinas... Uh, ano tayo, uh, archipelagic. No? That means na kailangan bawat isla, main island, meron siyang sariling source of, source of economy and therefore source of energy independently. If you compare to uh, Germany, uh, of course, like many uh, technology, like many changes, ano talaga, may mga birth pains talaga. Because most of these, uh, most of the energy facilities in the world are not designed for renewable energy. So it will take time, no? Reconfigure, uh, no? Yung, eh, syempre, maraming reconfiguration kailangan, di ba? Reset mo yung system. Yeah. Correct, correct. Because all, all of, most of the energy facilities are designed for base load energy generation. Hindi siya designed dun sa, uh, nag, uh, yung nagbabagong uh, energy sources such as solar, na, yun nga, uh, kuwing may araw, makaka-generate siya. Uh, h- syempre, hindi lang tayo gagamit ng solar. That's why we are pushing for uh, different sources of energy para lumawak ang portfolio natin on RE that will hence provide uh, different uh, uh, energy on different peak periods ng, ano, ng paggamit ng kuryente. The discussion on saan ba yung mga best cases, I think we're, we're beyond that kasi right now uh, renewable energy is expanding to a point na siya na dapat ang maging main source of energy hindi na lang alternative. But the thing is, we have a problem with renewable energy what this is not 24 7 it's not reliable it is intermittent so itong mga re- renewable natin ginagamit natin yan when available pag may araw uh, solar you use it uh, pag may wind may schedule yan traditionally uh, meron yung dumarating na hangin so may power sa so, another renewable type is the hydroelectric but ang hydroelectric ang water Pag hindi ang tag-ulan, wala kang tubig, di ba? Bababa yung production mo. Uh, geothermal is renewable, no? Ang geothermal natin kasi masyado lang mahal, no? 
so binigyan ng priority Department of Energy ngayon because you just get energy from under the earth and it's converted into uh, electrical energy. I've looked at the projects, for instance, in Denmark, in Germany. I mean, I visited the Energy Vende. Oh, we see that there's a storage capacity, transmission capacity, kind of infrastructure also set up. Kung saan hindi ka lang nakadepende kung saan nandun yung araw or yung, nandun yung hangin because you can store some of the surplus capacity, sell it to the other side yeah, within uh, the grid. True. Or so we're moving towards a much more upgraded yeah. uh, technology on that front, aren't we? At this point, renewable is uh, not that reliable. The battery system is very much expensive. Kahit sino gusto mo yun, di ba? Kahit lahat ng proponents dyan, mga anti-nuclear, they can always propose that, of course, but at this point, is it doable? I mean, you know, when you talk of energy, you don't only talk about its reliability, security. You must also include the affordability so that people will uh, have access to energy. Eh kung mahal yan, paano yung mahirap? Kung mahal yan, paano yung, uh, sabi mo yung cost of production natin, di ba? Hindi, 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 hindi makaka-access yung population natin. And therefore, that issue of accessibility to energy is very important. There was a lot of debate among geologists and experts in the Philippines na yung location din ng BNP pa ay napaka-problematic dahil malapit ito sa fault line. So kung magkaroon earthquake, baka matamaan ito at hindi ito kaya na eh, i-resist, no? Uh, yung, uh, you know, high levels of earthquake. Richard, when we had the policy develop, one of the issues that uh, really uh, was encountered, uh, you know, by the OE, then eventually the, by the Nuclear Energy Program Interagency Committee, is itong BNPP. So sabi namin, if we include now the discussions on the BNPP, while we're doing the policy. The committee now will make a recommendation, collate all studies, recommendations on the BNPP, then make further studies and make a recommendation to the president on whether so or not... You say it's not final. Wala, wala you, pa. Uh, just to give you an idea yes, uh, how this will be evaluated. No? Yeah. Siyempre, pinakos sa una, uh, what will be its uh, contribution to the energy security of the country? That's number one, diba? Number two, uh, safe pa ba? And uh, number three, of course, the cost, diba? Eh, ano yan? Papatayo mo lang ba just for the sake of mapapatayo mo? Of course, at the end of the day, is it will be, it will make the people have access to energy. If the cost is uh, right. reasonable, so those are the things that will be considered uh, in that. And uh, we know that uh, the BNPP is highly polarized. These are all technology na hindi na hindi na maintain. So in terms of risks, ang taas ang sinasabi pa ng ibang mga uh, technical uh, analysis from recent uh, studies, uh, I think merong price tag no to rehabilitate this uh, yung BNPP. At malalaki yung amount uh, as you've mentioned no, uh, billions of dollars. Uh, talaga lang ano uh, retrofitting ang mangyayari sa isang uh, facility na napakaluma na. Kaya ang ang best way to move forward with that is to lessen yung risk natin ay hindi na lang siya gamitin. No? Uh, wag na nating hayaan na ma-expose tayo sa uh, many risks na uh, dinadala ng BNPP and from the use of nuclear energy in ano, as, as a whole. Uh, a lot of um, nuclear salesmen no, are just saying, of course, what people want to hear, no? Ano yung mga magaganda? Ano yung mga solutions na to the our current problems? But of course, they, they wouldn't mention ano yung mga problems uh, that comes along with these kinds of technology. Best way forward is to let it go. Kailangan na natin siyang mag, uh, uh, tumingin ng ibang sources because we know the results already. Huwag na natin hayaan na magkaroon pa ng incident dito bago tayo uh, magkaroon ng realization na ah, hindi pala maganda ang nuclear. So, what President Duterte signed is a national policy. Hindi lang siya ang nagdesisyon nito. It's still a work in progress actually. Buhay pa ito. As a matter of fact, gagawa pa ng recommendation about nuclear power plant, about yung infrastructure development. Continuing yan kasi ina-update mo yan no, on what is happening. No? May policy ngayon na pinirmahan si President Duterte sa atin. So that in the, in the next generation, uh, the next generation natin, nandiyan na siya. If uh, they would like to put up a nuclear power plant, 
we already have the policy. And if you don't, if you're the next administration, you don't like nuclear. You, you're the, you have the policy. But siyempre, if you're in the position, sasabihin mo lahat. But at the end of the day, you know, we're talking about nuclear because of the progress that we want to bring to the country. We need, uh, you know, for an economy to grow. You need energy and you need reliable, secured, affordable power. And with that, uh, nuclear is considered among the, you know, fax efficiency, pinaka, ano yan, pinaka efficient. Yan. I took this opportunity also to assure, uh, you know, uh, uh, the Filipino people that uh, okay naman tayo, huwag mag-alala kasi eh, maayos naman ang inaayos natin para sa kapakanan naman natin lahat ito. Maraming salamat and thank you very much for joining us and mga kapuso. Maraming salamat. God bless.